Tonight, from SoFi Stadium in Inglewood, California, it's a special prime time edition of the NFL on EA Sports. Well, this is going to be returned from middle. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Milk on first down. Flush to his right. And incomplete on the deep ball. Well, the gap man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Good job there to locate his tight end, Charles, in the middle of the field. Yeah, he has good pass-catching abilities, and if they're able to continue to find him here in the early going, I think it'll help out his teammates out on the perimeter. He can take the big shots later if he occupies their attention. There's a ball thrown right side and complete. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. And that's a nice throw right there. And I'll tell you what I've seen in recent times and actually watched a presentation in the offseason from a college offensive coordinator that showed about 10 different drills that he runs with his quarterbacks to show them how to get out of the pocket. And got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, Houston. Chris Conley, 34 yards. And the Texans are on the board first on the road here in L.A. Showed some of his improv skills there, getting flushed out of the pocket, but still able to make the throw from the score. So that means he's not a method actor? No. Because with the improv means bring character when you need to. And in the NFL, when you have those guys chasing you, sometimes you have to bring character in a big way. But I love the fact that he stayed downfield, kept his eyes up, and made the play. How many rookies do that well? And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. Wilson, the Seahawks take over now, first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Throwing to start the drive. Wilson, oh, he's going to take a shot right away. Launches deep. A jump ball, and this is caught. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Get this down wide to Penny. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage, it'll be back at the 36. But despite the completion, they're going to wind up losing three there. Second down. On the ground, this is Rashad Penny. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Justin Reed. And now off to the races, down the right side. Oh, my goodness. And they will score a pick six for the Texans TD. And this defense looking like they have come to play the pick six, and just like that, it's 13-0 early on. Well, go back with me to our training camp visit. What do we hear during these drills? Oh, pass. pass. Ball, ball's in the air. And then my favorite. Oski, that's the interception. That means everybody finds someone to block. Block them legally, stay on your feet, and they get it done. Touchdown. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And no return on this one. is a fair catch. A signal four and take it. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And last time, decent field position through the pick six. Obviously costly. But they can't afford to just bunker in now. All right, they, good field position. They got his man, complete. Got it all the way in. Touchdown, Seattle. DK Metcalf, 75 yards. And the Seahawks get the quick strike touchdown.
Myers connects on the PAT. And that'll cut the lead down to a touchdown. One of the shortest drives you'll ever see. One play, 75 yards, six points. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. Here's Desmond King on the return. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And they're hoping to redo their efforts to the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you score points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Through one quarter, 14-7, our score. To throw, Mills. Believing the pressure right. Told in by Brandon Cooks. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. A big play that time catch and run one of the things that led this organization to commit to him as a starting quarterback as a rookie his ability to keep his eyes downfield and make plays out of the pocket able to see the receiver while on the move and that is caught one-handed oh my pulled it in and he'll take this one in for a Texans touchdown Chris Conley with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Texans push further out in front. Extra point by Fairbairn, up and good. And it's now 21-7. The drive there only spanning three plays. And the result, a Houston touchdown. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbairn now to kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And last time, the formula was pretty simple. One play drive, long pass. That Maybe they just want to do that again, right? And that's exactly how you want to draw things up, whether it's on your grease board, right, in your playbook. One play drive is exactly what you want out on. And that's caught inside the 35. Just a couple of minutes, we'll get you to Orlando and our good friend Jonathan Coachman. Coach will run through some of the numbers and the next-gen stats from this first half of football so far. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. And that one off the mark behind him, incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. From the gun, it's Wilson. Catch is made by Metcalf. And he's going to be taken down with another first down as the stop's made at the Texans' 13-yard line. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. This is caught. 
And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. This is first and goal and a golden chance to get a score back here before halftime. They'll try to run with Carson. Fighting for the end zone. He lost the football. It's out. And the Texans scoop it. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Pardon me, you know how often we hear about the red zone, right? From the 20-yard line going in, that scoring zone, getting points on the board. A lot of teams call from the 10-yard line in the green zone. That's your money zone. He fumbles the ball inside the money zone. You have one job, take care of the ball. That didn't happen. A throw left side to start out. That's complete. Houston, Nico Collins, an 80-yard touchdown, and the Texans are in. What a strike quickly. Add on to their lead. point he knocks it through it's 28 7 those are the ones the offensive coordinators dream about one play drives from that distance what an effort it results in the touchdown so after the touchdown here's Fairbear now to kick it away Coming to the line here to begin their next drive. The Seahawks offense. And with a little under a minute remaining, they may try to put something together here just to try to cut into that deficit. Left side here taken in by Metcalf. And they work this well upfield across the 45. On first and 10, it's Wilson. Going for Metcalf on the deep ball. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. When a team's turned it over three times in the first half, we just look at the offense and say, guys, what are you doing? But instead, we really should be looking at the defense. They've created the takeaways. Two interceptions, one cause fumble. They played awfully well swarming to the ball here in the first half. Brandon Cooks, the 40, the 20, Shoner, 10. down deep in the Seattle territory. Now the Seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. Mills now looks to throw on first down. And that would give the off target and incomplete. Let's give this defense some credit now. They let the guys get downfield. But when push came to shove, they stood their ground. And now they'll likely force a field goal attempt. To throw again on second down. Mills. And that will be caught, but out of the end zone, says the field judge. It's ruled incomplete. As soon as I saw him break contain and get outside, my first thought and my eyes gravitated downfield because nowadays, most of these quarterbacks, when they do that, they want the big play downfield. They don't want to throw it short. In this case, he took the shot. It fell incomplete. Well, that came a little abruptly here. Still working on my apple up in the booth. Hang on here. Let me spit this out. And we can get to the third quarter now. It's the Texans in front, and they're going to get the football first as we are back underway in the third quarter. Here's Russell Wilson and the Seahawk offense now getting set to go again. And he's had some time to chew on that interception he threw on his last drive back in the first half. Well, normally we say, well, I'll get him right back out on the field and play again, right? But as you mentioned, had the halftime, had to stew about it a little bit. Maybe he'll have a chance to relax a little and kind of laugh and chuckle and let it go. He'll hope to respond positively. Here's the third quarter. They'll buy some time right. That completes it again to Metcalf. And he 
just falls short down at the one yard line. After the big play, a chance to finish now on first and goal. Now we've got whistles and movement up front. I think this is against Seattle. And that'll be accepted, of course, and that moves him back five. And they'll try again here, first and goal after the false start. There's Wilson to throw. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Desmond King picks it. a drive that had real promise here to begin the third quarter but ultimately derailed by the INT. And that was a position you wanted to be in coming out to start this third quarter get a nice drive going looking for the end zone possibly got a little bit too greedy right there. This is caught it's Brown and he takes this just about a yard shy of the 20. And while we may be looking at the scoreboard, this offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down, even with a three-score lead here in the third quarter. I think they keep taking their shots. They've seen blown leads happen throughout this league. They don't want fall victim. Now a loose football. The ball comes out. And the Seahawks have picked it up. And they will take over at the 26-yard line. Well, number one on the list of things not to do when you're up three scores in the third, that right there, give the football away. I love when you speak like that. You know how doctors talk about taking the Hippocratic oath, first do no harm? You just did the football Hippocratic one right there. Don't give the ball away when you have a lead that you can lock this game down with. Throwing again on second down. Wilson. He'll find Metcalf. Now a first and 10 at the 11. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has a touchdown, Seahawks. Russell Wilson on target to DK Metcalf. And the Seahawks are able to cut into this deficit here in the final minute of the third. Now Myers for the extra point. It's up and good, and it's now 28 to 14. So they only needed three plays on that drive. And the Seahawks capping it off with a touchdown. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. And here comes a return for the middle of the... And all deep in his own territory, coughs up the football. And the Seahawks have picked it up. And they're going to be set up in the red zone at the 15. So a turnover there on the kickoff. And don't look now, but that just made things a little more interesting. Very interesting, because when you're trailing in a game, these are mistakes that you pray for. You just went down and scored. Now you get the football right back with another great opportunity. Now Wilson on first down. And it's caught. Touchdown. Russell Wilson on target to D.K. Metcalf. And the Seahawks able to make this a close game again. It's been quite the game for him individually. A trio of touchdown catches now. So pick a route, any route. Whatever you want him to run, he's going to do it and do it well and end up in the end zone. This has really been fun to watch. Wilson going to throw for it. And they're going to get the two-point conversion caught in the end zone. And that cuts the lead a bit further. And the formula there on the two-point try, they go five wide, not even the option to hand the ball off. They got it. They tried to create space, and there isn't a whole lot of it there. For the defense, what you're trying to do is make sure that if someone, if they're going to catch the ball, make them catch it behind you because they run out of space with the back line. But in this case, the offense figured it out. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And yeah, last drive, obviously not what you're looking for. You've got the lead. You've got to protect the football. In other words, someone got lucky because they've been moving the ball really well and wearing them down. In this case, though, giving up the football doesn't make them very happy. They can't wait to get back out there and atone for it. Yeah, try to atone for it here on this drive. He's going to go deep for Conley. He's got a man complete. 
One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. A first down throw for Mills. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off by Jamal Adams. And the Seahawks are right back in this football game. We're holding on to the lead at this stage in the second half. Those are the types of plays you really want to try and stay away from. And when you're a rookie, keeping your focus is something that you still have to work on all the time because there's so many distractions around you between the crowd noise and your coaches and your teammates. But the other part, you've got to learn how to finish. The two Fs for a rookie quarterback. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. To throw once more on second and 10. Wilson, a quick target here, complete to Metcalf. And he's dropped just shy of the 25 at the 24. They'll throw on first down to Wilson. Going into the hands of Metcalf. Pass oh, yeah, the 20. 10. And all the way in. Down Seattle. DK Metcalf. Seven. yards and the Seahawks are within the extra point of taking the lead the extra point now coming from Myers and it's no good he missed it and the game remains tied oh boy So right back to square one, tied at 28 as he kicks it away. Desmond King now to return it. He'll return it until he stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. And, of course, they'd like to forget the ending, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know, we had a good one going. Finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. Well, I think that was good strategy there, trying to go right back to him after the last completion. But this time, the defense was all over it, and they got there to break that one up. And now offensively, it's third and ten, and I'm just thinking to myself, actors always say, what's my motivation before a big scene? Right now, the play caller's thinking, what have I done before that's worked well that I can go? And oh, it caught it up, and the Seahawks have picked it up. And the return here is stopped at the 35-yard line.
So it's Seahawk football as we march toward a conclusion. They've got it first and 10 as they search for a go-ahead score. Here's Wilson. And seeing no options, he just tosses this one away incomplete. Now that'll bring up second down. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Now Wilson. Texans say they have. But they do. Wow. So they were already in field goal range. Now this and a completely new story to tell. And frankly, what they're going to say when they review this game and go over it, they're going to tell them, he had one job. All right? You knew what you had to get done. You knew where we wanted to kick the field goal from. You know, you know our range. Just take care of the football and we win the game. A good gain on first has him set up with second and just a couple of inches now from the 29. Mills now. He's got the hookup with Kenley. The ball comes out, but this will get out of bounds, so possession will stay the same. Well, obviously, you never want to fumble, but if you do, good to be towards the sideline and saves them the possession. Saves the embarrassment, saves it going down on the play sheet as a turnover, but I still think it should go to the defense, even if they don't recover it. If you give up the football, you gave up the football. Mm, uh, agree to disagree, I guess. <laughs> Can you tell what I played? Yeah, you played defense. Yeah. I'll let you go. I took a shot. That one tipped, and it's incomplete. But good hands there defensively. That's yeah, second down. Here's second and ten. They go play action. Mills. Johnson's poke free. Football's out. Now the Seahawks have picked it up. And they'll start out with great field position. 47-yard line in enemy territory. Whenever I see a team turn it over on back-to-back -back drives, fumbles on their last two, I know one person's blood pressure who is starting to rise, and that's the head coach. Absolutely. And when's it going to go down? When they stop fumbling? <laughs> <laughs> when they stop fumbling after he's assessed game and film, oh, if they manage to win the game. And he will lose yardage here to the 31-yard line. It'll wind up... Loss on the play, and that's going to bring up a second and forever. Wilson to throw. And seeing nowhere to throw, he chucks this one away from harm, incomplete. Now it's third down. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Throwing now is Wilson. Throw right side is into the hands of his tight end, Everett. And he is going to be brought down. And now making matters more dire, this is going to be fourth down. They get seven there, but it brings up fourth. Get a timeout here. They're able to stop it with one second to go in this game. So now this one will rest on the right foot of Jason Myers. wasn't enough and we are off to overtime Don't change that it's a little teaching moment here overtime rules remind us how this goes partner okay so in the past we had sudden death first team to score wins but no longer now if the team receives the ball scores a touchdown they win the game 
If they kick a field goal, though, or don't score, the other team gets a possession. And after both teams get a possession, then we're into sudden death. First team to score wins the game. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. The Seahawks get ready to trot out on the field. They control their own destiny here. They have the football in overtime. Obviously, a touchdown would win it. And I think teams around the league are still adjusting to the idea of going downfield, scoring a touchdown, wins the game because they were used to just going downfield and trying to get in field goal range to win a game. Still having to make that transition. Let's face it now. The ones who are doing it best know they need to go down attack in the end zone and not leave it up to a field goal and give the other team a chance. Yeah, as we said, they control their own destiny now. And that will be incomplete. Try to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. After what they faced during this game where they've given up a ton of yards downfield, there has to be a measure of revenge right there for the secondary. They've been shredded throughout the game and finally forced an incompletion. Wilson now throwing a third down. Going for Metcalf on the deep ball. And it's caught inside the 30. And all the way down to the 26. A huge play there in overtime. Well, that certainly changes things here because they're in field goal range already, but a field goal, that's not what they're looking for now, not after that big play right here in overtime. On first down, Wilson. That's complete to the tight end, Everett. Did I just hear that right? They declined the personal foul. Three yards, they just declined them. And I have to think that the official is thinking to himself, did I just hear that correctly, that you declined that one? All I can think of is that someone on the field got confused. Because he had to, because you're going to take the yards on that penalty each and every time. Again here, Wilson. They'll find Everett there. Complete. And he lost the football. And the Texans scoop it. Oh, now Murray has it stripped. A lot of bad news on that play for them, wasn't there? Lost the football, lost a lot of yardage. But I think the good news outweighs it. Able to retain possession. That was big for them. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. That was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them. And I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. Second down. Wilson, and he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. On third and goal, Wilson. But it's incomplete. That was a touchdown if he could have hung on. Instead, it was a well-timed collision to jar that one free. So they say forget the field goal and the lead. They're going for the win in OT here on fourth and goal. They'll try and throw for it with Wilson. Oh, and it's intercepted. Desmond King picks it. chance to win the game here in overtime. A costly mistake here in OT. And you know what they say when you throw an interception like that in overtime? You don't usually get a chance to throw a second one. I mean, I'm not sure the analytics on it. Let's ask Marvin, our statistician, to, to ring that down for us. That's typically
five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Middle throw it. Escaping the pressure right. And nearly picked off. Oh, that would have been a big INT here in overtime. Instead, they'll get another shot on third down. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Here's Mills. He's going to float this one deep right side. Oh, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Sidney. And now a fumble. The ball's out. <laughs> and the Texans will have solid field position here as they take over at their 45-yard line. So it goes as a fumble, but the key thing, not a fumble loss. Yeah, that, that stat's big, isn't it? I mean, it, I remember watching teams play. The ball might be on the ground a number of times during the game, but the other team doesn't get it. That's a huge difference in the ball game. And in this case, they were able to regain possession. Connecting with Johnson. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. This is a big spot for a rookie QB, and overtime's kind of where you earn your stripes, isn't it? It really is. We've talked with enough coaches and players about how these youngsters are getting into the game and playing at such a high level so early. But overtime, that's an entirely different animal, and he's handling it well. They're starting to put together a nice drive. So first and 10 now from the 30. First down, Mills rolling to his right, jumping it off for Johnson. And oh my goodness, he loses it again. Second time he's fumbled in this game. Fortunate for him, this one goes out of bounds. And the key for him now is how much equity have you built up with your coaching staff? How much equity have you built up with your team to continue to get opportunities? Fortunate that one went out of bounds, saved him from a turnover. Only a yard on the pickup, and now they've got a third down at eight. Now the timeout comes here in the waning seconds of this overtime as we could be set up at long last for a potential game winner. So the field goal unit is on the field as this is a big spot right here. Now the timeout comes here in the waning seconds of this overtime as we could be set up at long last for a potential game winner. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. And this will be a 45-yard attempt. And he got it. The kick is... 